So this young gentleman has come to see me this morning and what he's got is he's got a really quite an impressive bursitis sub right first MTPJ. I'll put some clinical photos up, but he's got a real forefoot valgus, a true version of the forefoot on the rear foot, but also with plantar flexion of the first metatarsal head compared to the second. So you can't really see from that angle. Let me see if I can move the foot around. So there's the first, there's the second. There's quite a plantar flexion, but certainly between one and five, let's move that foot into shot. It's really quite significant. So what he's doing is he's hitting down heavily. Now he's come through really for a surgical opinion as to whether we can take this bursar out and I can do that. But if I take this bursar out, it's going to grow back unless I do something to dorsiflex the first ray. So that's really my plan B would be to, and I've done this many times before, really move that foot up. I'm just getting out of shot a little bit there. I'm sorry, viewers. Um, so we would dorsiflex that first ray, really quite stiff. So we break it about there, lift it up and to offload that first ray. So this gentleman is, 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 is fairly mature, he's of a certain age, you won't mind me saying. So what we're going to try and do first is see if we can drain any fluid from there, pop some cortisone in, and just see if we can make that feel better conservatively before we, we jump into something surgical. Here with the ultrasound scans, a sagittal and a coronal scan. And you can see this quite a fluid filled sac, sub first MTPJ, sitting there below the sesamoids in the deeper tissues. Obviously ever saw this. So the first thing we're going to do is just a little bit of skin prep and this is chlora prep and as always happens when we're doing video somebody's going to wander in in a few minutes and the door's going to clatter but never mind so a little bit of skin prep there just let that dry off so these are these chlora preps that you've seen me use on other videos they're really nice throw that away just a little bit of dabbing and then, so it'd be interesting to see how much fluid we can get off this area. So there's going to be a little scratch coming up, sir. It's real wrong with leg down there. Yeah, you put your leg down there. In fact, better, better yet, leave the other leg outside in the car. We'll pick it up on the way back. <laughs> so green needle, you can just see that into shot. So a 21 gauge needle on a 10 mil syringe. If you can get a bigger needle and a bigger syringe, all the better. Just make sure that the needle's nice and patent first. So we just give it a few tries. So, sir, there's going to be a wee scratch, as they say in Scotland. I speak Scottish occasionally. Mm -hmm. So, Philip, one, two, three. Ooh. 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 So, let's see if we can get anything off. So, that's interesting that it's kind of a little bit on the pinky side, that one, guys. So, that says to me there's quite a bit of... interesting so that's that's quite bruised in there so you can see that's coming out not as pure bursal fluid sorry sir don't pull a face thankfully he's got a mask on so i can't see the face you're pulling and then that's going to come out so 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 that is actually phil that was all blood in there blood blood oh. so i don't know if you've been very active of late i don't know if you've had a had a busy few days but that's really quite, that's normally, we, we take out, looks a little bit like um, uh, wallpaper paste when we take a fluid out of a bursa or uh, a ganglion. Um, but that's actually reduced the amount of thickness. There you go, I told you the door would go. Come in, Sharon, don't be shy. <laughs> Selling tickets. So I'm just gonna see if I can drain any more out of that. So I'm just gonna get rid of that syringe, see if anything else comes out. Yeah, so that's decompressed it quite a lot, but really all blood. So I'm now going to pop in. So a little bit of cortisone, just to try and take care of some of the residual information around that, which is a little bit of cortisone. So another little scratch, don't be shy. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, and the idea of that, and I'm just going to do a little bit of needling of that lesion. Sorry, sir, I didn't warn him about this to try and I'm going to have to delete that bit out come on back onto the video and the idea there to try and pop a bit of the sack and that's all done now when you've done this for a patient strangely they never come back and see me again so oh. I'm assuming it's 100% cure um, <laughs> and we'll see you back in a few weeks time see how you go